it's not worth the PTSD. That happens a lot in our community. Movies like Ace Ventura, where all the men vomit because they find out the woman is trans, doesn't make you want to share stuff. Maybe they were vomiting because they found out they were in Ace Ventura. <laughs> Everybody hates the idea of supervised drug testing. We'll fight it. I don't want to. I fought my battles. It's taken a long journey to get this freaking happy. And it's not worth going back. I get it. But you know we're still going to fight it, right? How long have you been sober? Over a year. Thank you for asking. I asked because I want to see how stable you are. I just trusted you with something very private. Oh, I wasn't that kind of a drunk. I just slept with a lot of people, very little talking. <laughs> I'm going. Look, I left you something in the fridge. But knowing your family, it's probably just a plate by now. What? What if I can't sleep? I'm used to cuddling up with you. You'll be fine. Just watch Shark Tank. And imagine me saying, no one would ever buy anything that stupid. And you saying, I'd buy it right now. <laughs> I'll text you when I get home. Uh, How can I be behind where my parents were at my age? Uh, that sounds like a serious question, and I'd really like to help you out, but I got high in the driveway. <laughs> When I was Harris's age, I got to rage against the machine and try to fix the world. You know, I was protesting for vegan food in the cafeteria, and I was against female genital mutilation. Oh, who's for that? I'll give you a hint. It's not women. Is it men? <laughs> it's men, isn't it? But that's not my point. I mean, Harris can't do any of that because I can't cover her rent. I guess I could stop saving for Mark's college or maybe stop paying the dentist. I mean, once he finds out he's not going to college, he's got nothing to smile about anyway. Oh, let yourself off the hook. You know, most kids don't get to protest, huh? Some kids have to actually work in those factories that make the phones so that other kids can find out what time they're supposed to be at the protest. It's heavy. Thanks, Spicoli. <laughs> I, I gotta go tell her she's gotta come home. Are we gonna get fired for just walking off our jobs? Hey, not if we all stick together. This is where they're gonna do the testing, and they can't do it if we refuse to leave. You don't even work here anymore. I want to belong to something. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, I'm fine with protesting, because nobody's going to see my flower besides my husband. Thanks for ruining flowers for me, Carlo. <laughs> OK, I've never done this before, but I know if we just stay in here, production shuts down and they have to negotiate with us. What's going on? We can't have this many people in here at one time during COVID. And there's going to be a lot more of us. You tell your bosses, no supervised drug testing, no more protests. I'll tell them. Just so you know, I'm coming back with more security. Okay, don't make it easy for him to drag us off. Everybody, down on the ground. <laughs> this is passive resistance. Gandhi did this. I saw that movie. He didn't do it in the bathroom. <laughs> Come on. Hey, thank you so much for bringing me the gas mask. Uh, what are you doing? That's lunch. I know. I'm a revolutionary now. I can't have my mom bring me lunch. Well, there's no caviar in there if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> Listen, I know that I encouraged you to do this, and I am so proud of you for coming out here and putting yourself on the line for something you believe in. But? No, there's no but. And <laughs> I think it's time for you to go back to work. I told you I can't do that. Okay, well, if you don't contribute to the rent, then your share of the wealth protest here is going to be share that little tent with the rest of your family. We'll figure something out, but I'm not leaving here until it's over. No, we did figure something out. We're all paying rent. Harris, I know it sucks, but poor people can't afford to quit their jobs to make things better. Poor people are the ones with the most to lose. Why shouldn't they be on the front line? Because we can't take the time off to do it. In my little story earlier, maybe I wasn't clear. We're the poor people. Okay, well, that's your fault. 
I mean, maybe if your generation did what my generation is doing instead of wearing ironic t-shirts trying to make a point, then you wouldn't be begging your daughter to pay your rent. You know what? This isn't about begging. This is about taking responsibility. You have a job. And my generation did stuff. I tried to go to Lilith Fair. That was a big old woman thing. You know, if I was in college, this is what I would be doing. But I'm not, because I have to work. You know what? You're right. Nobody shared the wealth with you. I'm sorry. But you know what that means? You got to work to pay the rent. And you know what happens if you don't? You find someplace else to live. I can live right here. Great. See you in January. Don't come crying to me when the wind comes off the lake and knocks you right off your toilet bucket. <laughs> Not popping. <laughs> Come in tomorrow with three new chants. Ladies, it's David Wellman. I'm coming in. Look, you all have to go back to work right now. We want to go back to work, but you have to promise to let employees take our drug tests in private. That's right. Oh my God, is that you, Jackie Harris? I thought you'd be in a cult or a or a nut house by now. I've dabbled in both. <laughs> Look, it's a matter of safety. Would you want someone who's high operating the heavy machinery around here? Okay, I get that. But we don't need to be violated by having some creepy stranger watch us. Would you be more comfortable if it was someone you know? We're not letting you watch, Wellman. <laughs> I guess if we knew the woman, I'd pee in front of a Christian woman. Okay, well, how about Becky here? You all put your jobs on the line for her, right? I'm honored and humbled by the opportunity. Thanks a lot. All right. Good job, Beck. We did it! Don't work here. <laughs> How'd it go? I'm the new test monitor. You don't have to quit now. Thank you. Sisters gotta hang together. Get your lazy ass back to work, Becky. <laughs> Hope you're happy. I just left behind all the people who are risking everything to make a change because I had to come back to support my pathetic family. Well, you did the right thing. And speaking on behalf of your pathetic family, we thank you. What's going on? Here's your damn rent money. Hey, how dare you talk to your grandfather that way? You picked that up and handed it to him like a person. He's not my grandfather. He's my landlord. I can say whatever I want. It's OK, I got it. No, Dad, don't leave it. She's an ungrateful little brat, and she should pick it up. Why? I'm already bailing him out. He should do something, too. Harris, pick up the damn check. Or what? Stop it! Stop it, both of you. You think I'm not ashamed that I have to ask you? I hate that I have to ask you. No, Dad, you do not need to apologize. No, yes, I do. I get why you're angry. I'm angry, too. You want to know why I'm angry? Because your grandmother told me to buy life insurance, and I didn't. If I had, I could just throw my broke ass off a damn roof, and you wouldn't have to worry about anything. Hey, I'm sorry, Grandpa. I want to hug you, but I don't want to take the chance after being in that crowd. We'll just pretend like you did. He's just upset. And don't worry. With his cholesterol, no one would have given him insurance anyway. <laughs> Dan? I'm awake. <sighs> what happened? I thought you were going to spend the night at your place. Damn you, Dan Connor. You're just too cuddly. Mm. I needed to hear that. I had a rough day. Oh, I'm here now. You can tell me all about it. <laughs> all right, freak show, what's this? It's a picture of your face on two pillows that are supposed to represent your body. And they have perfume and cocoa butter on them. So they'll smell like you all. Perfectly normal. Stay away from my man. 